what inspires me most is usually my, my children and like youth. A lot of the murals that I paint and the designs that I create are more focused towards eliciting a, a healthy reaction from them. And then I, I think about uh, adults you know, getting into the work after that. And then um, I think last but not least, I just love uh, like the whimsical nature of, of art and the ideas and imaginations that it can spark and influence. The first thing I, I usually start off, I think about street art and graffiti. But then I think about uh, like kids and youth who's gonna get excited about seeing this. And the last thing I think about is like my color scheme. For this design specifically, each side of the vehicle has like one to three words that I, I, I designed around. And then I find characters that I feel like exemplify just that. And then also that um, I feel represent either the larger community or the community that I'm, I'm focusing on the most. And then I, I create designs and squirrels around that. A lot of times it might start off as like, this weird random kind of design, then I find the shapes and the characters in it and it blossoms and fills out from there. There's usually some central colors that I use in a lot of my mural work, so I felt like they were really easy to, to bounce off of. And I usually have a lot of blues. Uh, there's always like some form of cream because they go together, reds, orange, and then maybe, you know, yellows, and then it alternates out for other things per project. But those are almost specific colors that I have in all my murals. So the design, it, it links together a lot of my other uh, public work, so it'll be easy to, uh, to notice the, my touch and my hand in it. Being a professional artist, I have my own studio currently, but one of my first official, like, out of the house studios was always a library. As a youth, I spent a lot of time at, at libraries, like drawing. Like, some of my favorite books, they, they have the dumbest titles, but they had the most knowledge in them, like how to draw trees. I learned how to draw, hold pencil, shade, you know, draw bark, leaves, whatever. And that immensely influenced me for uh, other things that I wanted to do. And then outside of that, it was just a, it was a safe space to kind of grow and then um, kind of learn, like whatever I could put my fingertips on, I could learn about it. And I think that's the, the most enjoyable thing about a library. And then also, it's like, it's just the, the amount of media that you have access to that, I mean, I know the internet's really popular or whatnot, but you get to be around people. And then uh, I think it was meeting librarians to say, hey, I see you come in here a lot. If you're into this, I think you'll really dig this CD, this movie, and then maybe these books over here. The library is like a gateway. This like a, it's, it's a gateway to a world of information and knowledge. And if you don't have the ability to travel, the library is one of the easiest places to do that. I hope people see it as like it's, it's creative and it's fun and it reminds them that the library is a creative and fun place to grow and uh, meet other people and that it can add color to your life. Like the more books you read, uh, the more CDs you listen to, uh, the more magazines you check out, the more, let's say, cultured person you become, but your ability to have a conversation and connect with people immensely grows and it expands. And I, I wouldn't be who I am today without spending time at the library.